welcome to this session of rapid prototyping in this session we'll discuss a process which is part of a 3d printing technology now this rapid prototyping process known as 3d printing first of all i want to make clear that 3d printing does not mean rapid prototyping if you are using fdm then you can term it as a 3d printing because it is a part of process 3d printing but when we are using sla we cannot say it is a 3d printing because sla is not part of 3d printing 3d printing is a technology in which we are using a printing head so 3d printing term can only be used when we are using a printing head so this 3D printing was actually developed by MIT and then this uh, technology was uh, licensed to different organizations and all those organizations made commercial available machines from there the major uh, organization which used uh, this uh, license of uh, MIT and developed 3D printing machine is Z Corporation. So how 3D printing was? So 3D printing in 3D printing, we are using a binder. So if you have seen the 2D printing, then we are using ink in the 2D printing, and ink will be sprayed on the paper. So instead of using ink, what we are using in 3D printing, we are using binders. and this binders is printed on a powder bed so whenever there will be a binder the powder bed will binder is type of glue so this powder bed whenever there is a binder it will get solidified and the a cross section of a part will be made then once this uh, one layer is printed then the powder base is lowered a layer and a new layer of powder is sprayed on to it and then again the next layer is printed so this is the process developed by mit and this process was further developed by z corporation when z corporation launched their machine using this license technology from mit this z corporation machines normally uses starch and plaster based materials so how this 3d printing setup will work so there will be a build platform and there will be powder and the ink inkjet print head will be there similar to the 2d printing and this uh, binder will fall on the powder binder is sprayed on the bed and whenever the binder is there that part will be solidified all other things will be in the powder form itself then we will uh, use another layer of powder using the powder spreader and the process will repeat each time once the layer is printed this build platform will be lowered a layer new powder will be sprayed and the inkjet will print again so this is the setup of 3d printing this is the process visualization of 3d printing where the binder is solidifying the powder on the bed and we get a solid then the next layer will be there and we can print again this is the actual process of 3d printing here we can visualize that new powder is forming this is the inkjet so it is printed then new layer is formed then once the part is complete finished it will be in the powder itself so we have to remove the powder we have to clean the part so this is an entire uh, cycle of 3d printing first it is printed then we are adding new layer so this is new layer and then we have to remove the powder once this process is finished now we require some post process so once this process is finished we need to remove the powder we need to clean it we need to 
uh, give some pressurized air to remove the powder. So, in case of 3D printing, the post processing will be there, cleaning will be there. Now, what are the advantages of this 3D printing? So, 3D printing will have a very high print speed because it will have print speed of same as of our 2D printer. So, 2D printer can print a page within a second or less time. So, same way 3D printing can print a layer within seconds. The as uh, use of uh, this 2D printers is also simple. Anyone can use 2D printer. The 3D printer is also as simple. So, if you have a 3D printer in your office, you can simply click a uh, print on your computer from your desktop, or desktop and the machine will start to operate. There is no technical specialities needed. So, the machine is very simple to operate. Also, there is no wastage of material. Only the solidified powder is, will be gated and the powder which is not solidified, which is, is still in the powder form after the printing of power, the powder can be reused in the next cycle of printing. So, wasters of material is very minimal in case of 3D printing. Also, nowadays there are 3D printers available which can use different colors. So, what will happen? This 3D printer will, as a, our 2D color printer will have multiple cartridges for different colors. Same way, this uh, 3D printers, color 3D printers will have different cartridges for multiple colors. And you can add different colors binders on the bed. So, there will be one cartridge for a binder and three different cartridges for three different colors and a binder will be there and you can uh, spray color also with the binder and the part that is being built will have that color and combination of these three color can print a full 24 bit palette of colors so 24 bit palette of colors is a huge number it is 3 raised to 24 different colors this is same as in case of 2D printers. Just the difference is we are repeating the same process layer by layer for an entire part. Another advantage of 3D printer uh, that was there also in the powder of bed fusion techniques is that support structure is not required in the case of Because the powder itself will act as a support and an additional support is not required. Now, there are some disadvantages also. The first disadvantage is limited functional parts because the 3D printers normally uses starch and plaster based materials only. So, uh, there are very few parts which are functional and uh, which utilizes starch. Also, the material is limited starch and plaster base which are very weak materials so also they will produce weak parts the surface finish also is comparatively less because the binder will adhere some uh, area which is controlled by the uh, printer jet so we cannot uh, improve surface finish upon a uh, level and we require post processing because we want need to remove the powder from the part and we need to clean the part. So, this post processing will also be required. So, these are the major disadvantages of the 3D printing processes. Now, where can we use this 3D printing technology? So, mostly this 3D printing is used for concept verification only. Also, it can be used for demonstration as the powder is non-toxic material and uh, the model can be safely handled in meetings or in office after the fabrication. But uh, in other resin based techniques, some resins are toxic. So, one need to be careful while handling those toxic materials. In 3D printing, no disadvantage is there. 
so it can be used in meeting demonstration also and sometimes uh, 3d printing is used as investment or sand cards patterns as starch uh, based material will easily burn out of an investment shell so we can use that uh, use this uh, 3d printed part as investment patterns and we can build uh, uh, different parts from uh, using investment casting method uh, from these prototypes so these are major applications of 3d printed parts uh, i just want to remind you again that 3d printing and other rapid prototyping are not synonyms rapid prototyping and 3d printing are not synonyms 3d printing is a specific type of technology whereas rapid prototyping uses a wide variety of technologies which also includes 3d printing uh, here i have an uh, example case study we can say of a 3d printed part so mostly in shoes uh, industry people are using 3d printers it was it will be available in your office environment only so if you are designing a new shoe and you want to check the aesthetics of the shoe the look of the shoe then you can use this 3d printed technology and you can print this type of shoes just to check how the shoe will look like and you can present this to your uh, colleagues your uh, other members of team that this is what i have designed and this is how it will look like if uh, we want some modifications we can think on it this is actually the um, model of shoe which was used by adidas company other major shoe manufacturers are also using this 3d printing technology to make those verifications to make uh, it as a uh, uh, we can say visualization tool so this will be all from this session happy learning